Spanish shipbuilder Navantia and India's Larsen and Tubro are in the race for the Indian Navy's ambitious 43,000 crore Project 75I program. Now, the Project 75I program hopes to equip the Indian Navy with six conventional diesel electric submarines. And Navantia recently demonstrated an air independent propulsion unit integrated into one of the Spanish Navy's submarines in Spain. But what is the significance of this technology for India's Project 75I program, considering that Spain has promised to transfer this technology to India for its indigenous submarine program? My colleague Deepak Badana interviewed Jayanth Damodar Patil of Larsen & Tubro to learn more about the technology strides taken by the Spanish Indian Consortium for the Indian Navy's P75I program. Have a listen. In fact, over the years, what has changed is when these programs started, <coughs> India did not have its own design and you know development kind yeah. of a capability. Yeah. The strategic submarines have always been designed and built in India. The conventional were not. What has changed with so many years having gone through? Because 75 India, the first RFI dates back to 2008. So we are looking at now 16 years later. Over these years, now. In India, we actually have our own design and development capability. We can build, design and build our own submarines, but then to take that, starting with a design and development of a full-scale kind of a submarine, the times by which we possibly can start construction is 2030-31. So it's typically the kind of cycle time anybody takes in the world, hmm. right from the first cycle of design, which is a sketch design or a concept design. If that has to be initiated today, and for India, this design process has actually begun one and a half year back. So India by itself is designing its own conventional submarine, which eventually will start getting built from 2030 onwards. Now, this has happened because 75 I got delayed. But at the same time, the second phase of that original 30-year submarine building program was to design our own submarines. Assumption was 75 and 75 India would have happened and thereafter the 75, so, so sorry, the next program, the 76, which would be entirely indigenously designed would have right. begun. Now these are going to be more or less run concurrently. While for 75 India, the proven AIP today is at three places in the world. One of course is Thyssen Group. The second company which had this uh, capacity or capability was the um, Koreans. The Koreans, unfortunately, when 75 India was ready to bid, went into bankruptcy and obviously as a result they couldn't participate. The third obviously then is Navantia, who had um, uh, realized and having faced some early problems in their previous program, they have gone through 14 years of testing. So it's rigorously tested. And of course, now, today, it's integrated into the submarine. Uh, suffice us to say that we are acquiring a submarine in 2025. I'm, I'm assuming hmm. the program actually moves on decision-making processes over then. And the acquisition really, uh, the entire program will get delivered by 2035-36, somewhere around that time. Given that we are talking of this kind of uh, uh, time frame of acquisition, what makes it interesting is you need to have far more amount of modularity in the boat that one is buying. Mm. And the, the boat that actually has those abilities because technologies will keep changing. Right. And of course, uh, when you are going to be buying, uh, the first submarine gets, uh, let's say, into the Navy, typically six years, seven years, somewhere down the line. And that is essentially where you need to take a very, very careful choice or make a very careful choice in terms of what will come. Capability as it is being seen today and the capability at it is going to be needed at a later date, if there is modularity, you can always change. Of course. And that's essentially where the mm -hmm. beauty of what you are doing. Strategically, the submarine become extremely important and this is what we learned in the 60s, rather early 70s, we had the uh, war and we know we had uh, India into a unique position, fighting wars in the East as well as in the West. And we also had somebody who wanted to stop us fighting and towards that 
one set of naval armada came in from the east and one came from the west mm -hmm. now this is essentially when the country realized that the submarine fleet is something which has an enormous amount of deterrence and as a result india gradually built an enormous capability in maintaining a major quite a sizable amount of submarine fleet now this submarine fleet with number of years now is gradually depleting old submarines are coming to an end of life and that's where the newer and newer submarines are needed the absolute new submarine we know is currently only the 75 india because the previous ones mm. that we were operating the russian as well as the germans are at some stage of their life the germans possibly with the refits which are undergoing right now are good for another 10 12 years right but the, the earlier ones which were bought which were the russian mm. submarine are probably going to be retiring in next 7 8 years now this is essentially where the indigenous program becomes extremely important mm. because once you did as much in india in terms of physical content as well as construction you have ability to do entire refits here you are you have ability to replace the equipment here change equipment here add in new capabilities at some point in time and that is essentially where that vision of atmanirbhar starts making sense and that's mm -hmm. essentially where the program will move in the originally thought program was 6 plus 6 and another 12 right and that's exactly where we are the first six more or less into navy mm -hmm. the last one is about to be commissioned okay. the next 675 india and another six and six more in pipeline